As is tradition, I shall now impart words of wisdom to you before you head out into the world. And on a celebration of such magnitude, I turn to some very gifted philosophers. One, collect piglets. One day, Piglet tells Winnie the Pooh, if it weren't for you, we'd be a little less we. In another story, Piglet says, the things that make me different are the things that make me. So leaving the familiarity of high school and the confidence that comes with routine can be scary. But I challenge you to be you, to know that the things that make you different are what make you special. Now is the time to explore and showcase the amazing things that are uniquely you, and then surround yourself with those who celebrate the way you view and experience of the world. So who are your piglets? Who gets you all the weird, quirky things that make you wonderful? Is it a classmate, a family member? So right now, I want you to look around. I want you to make eye contact with one of your piglets. Go ahead, find them. Look at him, give him the eyeball. Mm -hmm. I even heard some noise. If they're not here, make sure you tell them how important they are. But my charge to you is collect piglets. In all of your new situations, find someone who gets you. Two, don't be an Eeyore. Winnie the Pooh tells Eeyore, you can't stay in your corner of the forest waiting for others to come to you. You have to go to them sometimes. Don't wait for life to happen. Make a plan and walk towards your dreams. Don't get stuck in your little corner of the forest. Move, change something. Don't harbor a grudge and don't blame others for where you are. If you don't like your situation, you need to take steps to change it. Make it a priority to do every day something you're good at, something you love, and something that moves you towards your dreams. Three. Find a Winnie the Pooh moment every day. One day, Winnie the Pooh and Piglet were walking through the Hundred Acre Wood, and Pooh asked, what day is it? Piglet said, it's today. And Pooh said, oh, my favorite day. Live in the moment. Don't wish your life away. I bet you've been saying, I can't wait till I'm old enough to, since you can remember. And you've likely said, I can't wait until graduation more times than you could count but take time to enjoy the moments along the way. Recognize them and be in them. Just stop and be present. Experience it with all of your senses. Appreciate the joy or the sadness or the fear and make it a part of you. So take a moment, all of you right now, everyone, graduates, family, friends, all of you, close your eyes. Just be in the moment, listen with your heart. Make this moment a part of you. It's just that easy. And finally, choose to put on the big boots. Christopher Robin was sitting outside his door putting on his big boots. As soon as he saw the big boots, who knew an adventure was about to happen? Make your life an adventure. It is with such pride and hope that we send you out equipped with your years of lessons, both academic and emotional. You will be amazing. So make sure you put on your big boots now and then and take adventures along the way. Meet someone new, walk home a different route, take a class that scares you. But when that moment of decision between doing the same and trying something different presents itself, choose the big boots and make it an adventure. Congratulations. Mr. Jarvis, I present to you the class of 2018.